Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. So in the last episode we were finishing up building my thatch house and we're probably going to be doing that, finishing that, and then I'm going to attempt to find and tame a dinosaur that does not want to eat my face off just so I can have a little bit more protection. And oh, look at that. So that's a little new. Um, so last episode we were killed I think a few times, but this one does seem like an... No, I don't know what that is, so... Usually there's, there's like, supply drops in there, so... Um, giving me a good stuff, and... Sometimes it's kind of crappy. Sometimes you get this, like, pretty lame stuff in there, but... Hopefully, this time, we should... Uh, yeah, there's no, nothing in there, anyways. So, let's see here. I'm just collecting a little bit of food right now, and then I'll be collecting some fiber. Oh, gosh, I forgot what I was, uh... What I needed. So, we need roof, so we basically need everything. So I'm going to work on fiber at first. Uh, make sure I'm well fed. And so, let's see here. Oh boy, I'm having a hard time getting to that fiber. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, sometimes when, when plants are inside of rocks, it makes it very tricky to get to them. So, let's see here. Oh, Alright, this will make it a little bit easier. So, something about all these different berries is the anarcho berry is you shouldn't really eat it. You can, it does fill up your, your food supply, but it actually can make you pass out. So if you're eating them, make sure you're in a safe location to do that. So I just gotta make sure I get full on fiber so I'm able to uh, get my poops really well. Make sure I have lots of fiber in my diet. Okay, so it looks like like that's all the fiber I'm gonna really need for my roof. Now let's see if there's a few more. Um, and then, okay, so let's go and get me some thatch. Hopefully there are some trees around that aren't near any predators. That's one of the big problems you, you run is you don't have any like place you can go to get any, any supplies. So I think this right down here is safe enough. So we got some pack animals around, and they're pretty good for clearing out the carnivores because they protect each other. So, yeah, let's go over here and get this. All right, so that should be enough, and yay, I leveled. So we're going to work on stamina again, and I don't really need anything extra right now, so let's, let's keep moving on and pull out my axe because that's... The axe is the best tool to the axe is the best tool to get wood, whereas the pick is the best tool to get thatch. I don't know why I left that tree behind. That is, yeah, that tree was working just fine for what I needed it to do. Okay, as you see, I'm getting a lot more wood here from that. So let's just see. Uh, let's craft all three. Okay, and so I think. I'm gonna be fine there. It's hard to. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what you're gonna, what material you're gonna run out on. You just all you know is that you're gonna run out of materials. So let me just sit here, right here. What's gonna get? And I need more thatch. That was kind of what I was figuring I would need more of. So let me just come to this closest tree right here. All right. So more thatch. Okay, I'm gonna craft three more. That's that's a little bit more than I'm gonna need, but I think it's always important to have just a little bit extra, just in case some dino comes by and thinks your house is a tasty treat. So let me get over there. Um, the speed when you're when you're crafting is actually really slow. Yeah, really slow. So I actually don't know if increasing your speed on your character actually makes that faster, or if you just kind of have to deal with the. Uh, with that speed, regardless of how fast your speed may be. Hey, it's these little guys. They've been wandering around this whole time. Okay, so let me see here. Um, yeah, so that is where I'm at. Okay, so let's get up here and put my roof. I, oh, hey, look at that. It actually did land. It did a supply pack for me. It's really nice when they get really close like that, just because... Um, yeah, it's just because like, you don't have to travel out too far. And I have to be level 55. That is that is pretty lame. 
I've done uh, I've done online servers where that wasn't the case, but I didn't think it would actually cause me to have to wait that long for that in a single player environment. But anyway, so let's put these roofs down. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, so we're getting the house symbol on the uh, on the right side of the screen, and so. That right there just kind of tells me that I'm in an enclosure, that I'm safe in the enclosure, so that's really nice. So I have this plant species. Um, basically what that does is it grows a plant that's kind of like a Feed Me Seymour Little Shop of Horrors uh, thing, and it actually, it's actually pretty cool. It attacks enemies for you, and enemies actually have a really hard time getting at it because it just attacks so quickly. But that's that's kind of I feel like a little bit a little bit the way a little bit way off. Um, so I'm gonna just try to save these berries. I don't really have. Wait, maybe I can. There's uh, you can get a storage unit where things will actually keep a lot longer. Um, and I don't think I can build it yet. Uh, let's actually look that up. So no, you know, yeah, I don't think I can build it yet. I know it's preserving. That's what it is. No, yeah, I don't think I can build that yet. But let me see here. I'm gonna research the water skin, even though I'm not gonna use it right now in the bed. And maybe the slingshot. The slingshot's just really good to take stuff out from a distance. And the torch, just so I'll have a light source other than the campfire. And I think that's it. I can start investing in wooden foundations. Also, I love the boomerang. And I've never really used the bola before. Uh, I think there's not a there's not a lot of dinosaurs that actually get affected by it, so um, I don't really see like the the need for it right now. So my house is done. Uh, let's move on to trying to tame a dinosaur now. So the best way to tame one is to actually use a weapon. You can punch them till they're knocked out, but generally that doesn't work out too well, especially when it's a dinosaur that likes to attack you back. And so we're going to. We're going to build a boomerang. Boomerangs are actually really, really handy tools just because they are long range. They come back to you and they don't, I don't think they break. I think you just lose them. Like you throw them and then they, you, you don't, you don't really get it back. So, oh, what's up with that? How are you moving all fast? So those dinos right there, they actually, I don't know what the name is now, the uh, mola, molasops. The, uh, the benefit of them is they actually, they're like little water, ooh, what was that? Okay, that was just, that was just a kangaroo guy. Not a, not a carnivore. He doesn't plan on eating my face off, so I should be fine. I just hate going out in areas that I've never been to. Alright, so I think, okay, that's enough wood. Let's get some more thatch. Okay, so that should be enough to build my boomerang. Um, oh, actually, I need fiber for the boomerang. Interesting. And so, let's see here. I've actually never tried this before, trying to tame a water jug bug. Alright, so that should be enough. Let's craft that, and let's get that... Um, oh, I can craft one more. Awesome. So yeah, let's, let's, oh, where is it at? Uh, where is, okay, so there's the boomerang. Did it, did I not get that first one? I don't know. So yeah, let's, let's grab the boomerang and let's see where, where's something I want to tame. So there's that water, water bug and I just gotta keep in mind. So the, the issue with these guys is that they just go apeshiz on you the second you start attacking them. And if there's anything else in the area, they will actually, basically, they'll all turn on you. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna see if I can tame that. All right, so Harry should be coming. No, actually, it's running away. Interesting. Maybe they don't actually engage unless, unless there's a group of them. That's interesting. Then let me try this guy out. All right, so. Alright, so we're gonna keep doing this. Now he's moving pretty slow, which is nice for me. Alright, so... Just... 
Yeah, a lot of dinos, when they attack you, they really cause you some trouble, so... I'm trying to keep my distance here. Alright, so... Hopefully it just a few... Oh! No, I didn't think that was possible. Oh, that sucks. Because now I have to engage it by hand-to-hand. -hand. Oh, that didn't work out for me at all. Okay, so maybe I can just build another one. Okay. Uh, Alright, maybe, maybe I can. Okay, so I'm going to get up on this rock. He's still coming. Alright, okay, let me up. Alright, so here we go. I need sand. Where the frick do I find sand? I know I'm in a desert, like it should be just it should be obvious, but I got two, three, five, seven. Alright, so let's do that. Let's let's craft one really quick. And hopefully I'm able to knock him out this time if I can find where I left him. Okay, so I think it was over by... There he is! And he's still coming at me. Alright, so hopefully this one doesn't break. So some of these dinosaurs, if you actually look at their hard stats, um, they're actually really difficult to tame. Oh, I don't want to let him sit by my house. Alright, so he's running away now. That's when you actually know that what you're doing is actually starting to make a, like a difference. Uh, so I'm gonna... Uh, put that away and just start punching now. Alright, so. Alright, so there we go, there we go. He's tame now. Hopefully that's close enough to my house. Alright, so that's that's within view, so I'm gonna just remove the bushes around it. This is where uh you know, the narco berries come into play now, so when you when you tame these animals. Yeah, this is kind of what what happens. So, I've actually I tried to kill one of these once, but he he like it like a turtle. He pulled into a shell, and it was like impossible to do any damage to him. So, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to access their inventory, and you're supposed to feed them. Um, I'm not entirely I think that that and that should be enough. And then the narco berry. They don't eat narco berry on their own. You have to force feed them, and I mean, I mean, talking about feeding a dinosaur, that would be ridiculous. I don't want to, I would never want to stick my hand into the mouth of a dinosaur to force feed them. That just seems like a really destructive idea. That would get your hand lost, but that is what you're supposed to do. And so, all right, let me see here. Let me get this. All right, let me see. Uh, I think, I think we have enough berries on it to get it tamed all the way. It'll just slowly eat those berries over time and you'll be able to, uh, I mean, eventually when it eats berries enough that the taming bar will fill up and then it's yours. And yeah, basically, basically there. Let's see here. What's, is there something underneath my house? There's a campfire underneath there. Uh, I guess I'm gonna demolish that. Oh, uh, I don't want that under there. Just some, just some thatch. All right, so let's see here. So I'm gonna grab those narco berries. Uh, you generally need quite a few narco berries in order to tame an animal. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I'm laying down. Okay. Thought I was inside of the uh, inside the thatch building, like I glitched down. Okay, so I'm still having a little bit of trouble seeing him, so I'm gonna clear these bushes. If I can, if I can access them. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's a really big bush. It's just exploded all over the place. This guy's probably like, what the freak? Like just like picking a few berries, and all of a sudden the bush just blows up in your face. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna get more of these. I'm gonna get more of these. Just basically clearing the area so that I can have a better plate to work with. Um, Alright, so let's see. Get rid of these. Alright, so can I see him a little? I, so yeah, I can see him a little bit better. Let me actually clear this rock right here. 
then also this will be good because, you know, sand, I can build more boomerangs, just because I didn't realize the boomerang would break that easy. That, that was actually kind of bad to be uh, caught empty-handed like that. So yeah, there we go. I think that'll be good enough for right now. We're going to see where he's at on his unconscious meter. So this is what you basically do. You put the, the narco berries. Wait a second, what was that? Alright, it's just that bug. So you put the narco berries inside of their pack like this, and then you click remote use item. And so when you do that, it increases their uh, topor or tarper, something like that. And it makes it so they uh, they stay passed out. Because as soon as they wake up, if they're not fully tamed, then uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this. I don't think I don't think I can, but I'm gonna see if I can tame up one of these water bugs. So yeah, once you uh, once you get their taming meter all the way up, if they're not, oh hey, yeah that kind of that kind of sucks. There's a I can tame a, a pterodactyl down there. I don't know anything about them being aggressive. I've never really encountered them, so I'm gonna just leave it there uh, until I have more of a, like an army or maybe just more tools to do that. But. But yeah, basically, you, you, you tame them by just letting them eat the berries automatically, and then you uh, have to force feed them narco berries to keep their unconscious meter from emptying completely. So let's see here. I'm just going to collect these berries right here. So I think we're okay to leave him right now. That's one of the things you, you don't have to... You have to completely sit on dinosaurs the whole time. So let's see what I can do next now. So let me uh, let me actually build some standing torches. Oh dear. Oh dear. I am currently dying of dehydration. Probably because it's so hot outside in this area. Let me see here. So I'm going to go over this water and get a drink. So I, I, I'm worried that this thing might be running out. Every time I get a drink, I see that the sand rises a little bit. So I wonder if it's one of those things that just needs to refill over time. Um, it's really hard to tell. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that... Okay, so there, it's attacking. So, oh, there's a raptor over there. So that is something I want to stay very clear of right now because I don't have any, any other pets really... Uh, take the blunt force of a raptor for me. Um, so I think... I'm just going to take a look at my area. Okay, so that is a big, bigger predator that I'm going to definitely need to stay clear of um, through that little canyon area. So apparently my best bet is to stay over there and away from that area. I think that mountain is really the source of a lot of the negative dinosaurs that are really going to do, do a lot of... Like, you know, cause a lot of trouble for me. So, let me see here. Can I build an extra boomerang? So I just need a little more wood. And I have enough sand. I'm going to build a, just a bunch of boomerangs so that I don't run out of them. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I need more wood. So this area was the side that was a little bit safer. So I'm going to be playing over on this side. Um, there's different parts of the map that just cause you a little bit more trouble. And so I want to stay... I want to stay clear of those areas. Uh, Alright, so this is really nice. I like when this happens. Let's pull my axe out. Okay. No? Alright, so I'm going to have a little bit of trouble there. Okay, so maybe I do have to walk around. So I'm going to walk down. I'm gonna jump off. Oh dear. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if they're aggressive. So I'm going to be... I'm going to just play very safely. All right, so I'm starving. So I'm actually, I'm a little over encumbered. Let's just try to build some more boomerangs. Hopefully that'll li lighten up my load a little bit and I'm gonna increase my weight some. So I don't think I need anything else right now. Okay, so there we go. So I think I'm getting a little bit lighter. I don't know, I can't really tell. Yeah, so there we go. So I got, oh, that was because I finished crafting and I increased my, my weight capacity. But yeah, I noticed that just a second before it happened is I was getting dehydrated, so I need to return back to my base 
and get a drink of water. So let's see what here. I'm just gonna take a quick look to make sure my dino is okay. So he's yep, he's currently good. So let me just get some water because when your diet when when anything's like you know severely wrong, you know it's a little bit of heat, a little bit of cold doesn't bother you, but if something is severely wrong, then it'll start to cause you a lot of trouble. Um, this is also one of the difficult things before you have like you know a lot of dinosaurs to kill stuff for you is you just you you start to run out of uh, food when you're trying to feed them because you know you stick all of your food on them. Um, I think I can take maybe half that stack just for myself, and I'm gonna stick that right there. Uh, you don't really ever feed them the stem berry. Uh, it, it makes you lose your thirst really fast, so it's kind of a dangerous berry just to kind of eat. Um, but let me just eat these berries real fast. All right, so wait all the berries. Let me just you know, clear these bushes a little bit more. They did spawn in some, so I'm gonna just take care of them, take them out. Alrighty, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the section below what you would like me to try to do. If you really do want me to check out the carnivore, then I, I could probably I could definitely go and try. I would build myself probably a few dozen spears and try to kill one of those really big carnivores to clear out those areas. But right now this seems to be the safest area. And we're getting uh, running out of time here guys, so I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to finish taming this dinosaur. Hopefully it doesn't take an entirely new video and then the next video. But make sure you guys like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!